Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. In part 3 of this video, I'm going to talk about examination and analysis of your whole diagnostic process for a specific low back pain according to the KNGF guideline in 2013. If you haven't watched part 1 and 2 of this video series, make sure to first watch these two parts in order to get more information about the prognosis, screening and patient history for a specific low back pain. Like in other pathologies, your goal during examination should be to test the hypotheses that you have formed during your patient history taking. According to the guideline, you start with the examination of the thoracic, lumbar, lumbosacral column, including the pelvis and the hip. Namely, you want to assess range of motion, direction of motion, resistance to movement and end feel. Secondly, you would like to assess the consistency and provocation of pain and possible radiation. Afterwards, the guideline recommends to examine the muscles in the aforementioned areas. Hereby, you are looking for muscle length, elasticity, and feel, tenderness on contraction and stretching, muscle tone, coordination, and strength. This examination is followed by the assessment of the skin where you want to get information about the level of grasp, shift, pliability and end feel. And at last, you want to examine how the patient is performing the activities that he feels limited in. Ideally, these should have been noted in your PSC during patient history taking. Based on your findings, you should be able to link the impairments in body functions to the restrictions that your patient experiences in activities or participation. If you suspect radicular radiation, the KNGF recommends to perform the straight leg raise test that you can watch by a click in the top right corner. Furthermore, they advise to examine muscle strength as well as the finger to floor distance, which is a test where the patient bends forward and if the finger to floor distance is greater than 25 centimeters, this indicates a positive test. If you could rule out red flags and a specific cause for low back pain, you can assume that your patient has a specific low back pain. Based on your whole diagnostic process, you should be able to place your patient in one of the three following profiles. Profile 1 – Non-specific low back pain with normal course of recovery. Profile 2 – Non-specific low back pain with abnormal course of recovery but without the dominant presence of psychosocial factors impeding the recovery. And profile 3, non-specific low back pain with abnormal course and with dominant presence of psychosocial factors that impede the recovery. Alright, this was the third part of our KNGF low back pain guideline. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment in the section down below and subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And I'll see you in the fourth and last part of this KNGF guideline video series. Bye.